Hey everyone, welcome to the Captain Drone YouTube channel. My name is Steve and this would be the Gepard C Turn LR40. So this is the beast right here and you can see I have the DJI 03 camera if I can get my finger in the right spot up front. This also is a dead cat design. So if I flip it this way, you'll see what I mean. Dead cat means the arms go out to the side so you don't get the props in the frame, which is bonus if you want to film using the DJI 03 that you're going to see in this video. You're going to see how spectacular it is. You also see that the GPS sits way off the frame. It's way up here on this stack. And the reason GetRC did that is because they say every company that puts the GPS in the back, you get interference with your video transmission and the GPS. And a lot of times your GPS rescue doesn't work. Your drone just falls out of the sky. So this is supposed to give you perfect GPS satellite communication and it's supposed to be pretty accurate. We're going to try it out in this video. Now, since this is a four inch FPV drone, I would have expected it to be over 250 grams or pretty close to 250 grams. Well, it weighs quite a bit under 250 grams and that's because the carbon fiber they use on here and the aluminum aircraft aluminum that they use on here is extremely, extremely light. Now, GetRC says that the way the camera is connected, there should be no jello in your footage. Now, for all of you who are watching this right now, you're in for a treat because all the other reviews you watch probably will not have done what I'm about to do in this video. And that is, I'm gonna fly this four different times. Let me explain. On flight number one, I am gonna use this battery. This is the recommended battery and you can see how much it weighs here. The purpose of using the 650 is because if you wanna do freestyle, this is probably the best battery. Next, I'm gonna fly it on this battery. This is an 1100 and it is not recommended. The reason it's not recommended is because usually an 1100 is kinda of large and uh, it adds a lot of weight as well. So it takes up a lot of space. However, this one's a good size and you can see the weight of it right here. So I'm gonna fly it with this battery and tell you how it does. Then flight number three for everybody who wants to do long range. This battery is super heavy. Here's a picture of it and here's how much it weighs. Let's see if this drone can lift it. If it can, then you should get about 25 minutes of flight time with this battery. Then on flight number four, I'm testing out this guy, the GPS rescue stack that's up top. How accurate is it? Does it actually cause the drone to fall out of the sky when it goes into GPS rescue? Or does it come back to you? And when it comes back to you, does it just come back to you and hover? Or does it come back to you and land? So all that is in this video. And uh, here we go with the review. This is the made in flight. And what I'm gonna do is take it up with a 650 milliamp hour LiPo battery four cell. It's not very heavy. It is the recommended battery. It will make this a little bit more flickable in the air. I just wanna see how it goes. And then we'll put some heavier batteries on for a longer flight time. Plug this in, it's gonna get the satellites. There we are. It's all set. Get the goggles on over my little pom-pom hat. Keep my head warm, it's a little chilly out. Looking in my goggles, I have 10 satellites so far. It's very fast at acquiring satellites, wow. Flight mode is over here. Flight mode angle, flight mode acro. Okay, so that's acro, we're all good. Now I don't know how many satellites is required to fly. You'll know if you have the right number, if you can arm it. Armed. I can arm it, here we go. All right. So there's our ice over here. Of course, if this drone falls, anywhere into that ice, I'm not going to go get it. I also have to mention that my crossfire module that's on this radio, I've tried firmware updates at it, but I'm having all sorts of issues and I keep getting telemetry lost. And it gets telemetry lost whenever the voltage gets low on the drone or I go behind me or I get off to the side watch. I'll go lots of power. You should hear it. Is it gonna go? Telemetry lost. There we go. Telemetry recovered. It's like, telemetry it's like when there's no power going to the uh, module, the receiver, all of a sudden, well, there's power going to it, obviously, all of a sudden I get the loss. So anyways, enough about that. Let's fly this baby. And uh, let me see how it does. Nice slow turn. Nice slow turn the other way. Well, that's not slow, that's fast. Let's go this way slow. And let's bring it back to me. So for flickability, it is very good. Four inch quads are always good for that. You could probably hear the wind blowing and the, f and the flag, just a flapping over my head. See this red flag? I didn't know what it was before, but everybody told me it means don't go out on the ice. It means the ice is too thin. So uh, yeah, and uh, I would say it is pretty thin. So anyways, let's get away from that little red flag and go this way. What's my power at? 3.5 still, so I'm okay. Okay. 
very uh, easy flickable drone. You can have a lot of fun. If you're a freestyler, I'm sure you can do some amazing things with this little 4S. It's, de it's designed to be flickable and long range at the same time, which is pretty cool. Let's go this way. Go through the trees over here. Dive down through the trees. Dive up. Next thing I want to check out is if I can fly this really slow. Can I fly this slow? So I'm going slow now and the battery loves it that I'm flying slow. The voltage is going back up. Ooh, this is nice and slow. Let's see. Is there any obstacles down here? Will I crash into something? I can't really tell. It's pretty good. Let's go this way. There's a car over here. Telemetry lost. Come around this way. Whoa, power lines. I almost crashed into them again. Car over there. <laughs> I have no luck when it comes to power lines. All right, let's go up power lines here again. Stay under those. Jesus. I hate freaking power lines. And come on back to me. Okay, let's put on a larger battery and let's see how it does. So let me go this way and just bring it down in front of me. It's a very smooth flying drone, so I should be able to land it near the landing pad. Or not. See if I can get it in front of the camera for landing. Coming down. I'm gonna land it on the snow for a soft landing right down here. Well, I hit the landing pad. There we go, good enough. All right, not sure if this camera can pick me up, but I'm gonna put on a battery that is not recommended. This is a big battery, it's an 1100. They say only go up to an 850 for weight, but I'm gonna put an 1100 on to see if it can carry it. I think it can, so let's try it. Big battery, hopefully this battery strap goes around it. There we are, 1100. I don't think it's gonna upset the balance. It looks pretty good. Okay, she's plugged in. It's gonna get the GPS, so let's go. Let's see if it gets the satellites fast. Oh my God, I'm up to 17 satellites. I just plugged that battery in and it's already up to 17 satellites. This is awesome. So it has a memory to memorize the last settings for the satellites. So it knows if you're in the, around the same place, it gets the same satellites. Really good. Here we go with the heavy battery. How does it fly? I'm not noticing too much weight right now. I'm gonna go over the ice here, nice and low. So far, so good. Seems to be okay. Battery seems to go well. Take it nice and easy. I think it prefers the 1100, to be honest. I think you'd put the 650 on if you were more doing acro. Hey, do you know earlier today there was people ice fishing out here? Right over here, they were ice fishing. That is insane. That ice is just breaking up. That is craziness. If you watch my video of the Seafly Mini 2, you'll see the ice fishing people. All right, coming down. Recovered. Bounce off the ice. <laughs> Let's come on back here. So, can you do freestyle with a big 1100? Slow, beautiful. Four minutes. Beautiful. Lost. Come on back, I'm Telemetry up high. Recovered. Let's Telemetry go a little nose lost. over. Telemetry nice and recovered. slow, look at that slow. Beautiful. Ooh, I went so slow, I had a little bit of prop wash there. All right. So far, so good. I'm liking it. All right, let's go this way. I'm going to lose telemetry. telemetry. <laughs> yeah, I know. Telemetry. Flying around the beach. Telemetry lost. Coming around this way. Going through the trees. Nice. Telemetry recovered. It's a very telemetry smooth lost. flying drone. Very smooth. Telemetry Four inch quads are probably the best of everything. You can go seven inch massive, you can go Three two inch minutes. small, but when you get to four inch, you're like in the sweet spot of everything. So they're always like the best. If you had to pick one, four inch is always the best. Look at this thing just go. It's so beautiful. Do you see what I see down there? There's like a first place, second place, third place rock. Check it out right over here. Let's come down slow and check it out here. I'll buzz over it. My camera's pointing up, so it's hard for me to see as I come down. But there it is. See it? First place, second place, third place. Right there. Interesting. And let's see if I can go slow over the ice. Coming down, coming down, coming down. No more fast flying. Slow, slow, slow. Here we are. Coming down nice and slow. Pretty soon, this entire river will be one big sheet of ice. And this big river over here, another huge sheet of ice. So I will say I'm pretty impressed with this quad. It's so nice. Like you do these really slow maneuvers and slow turns. That's very difficult for a quad to do, but this does it really well. Telemetry recovered. 
And you can hear the sound of the quad. It's not one of those high-pitched sounds. It's nice. It just has the, the props blowing nicely. Let's go over this way. There we are. The sun is going out, so I'll have to take it down. Also, I have to be careful. There's people getting out of their car near me, and they'll probably walk right where the landing pad is. So let's just come down nice and slow. Slower. Bring it over to the other camera so you can see me coming down. There we are. This is a lithium ion battery. It is from Gep RC. It's a 3000. You're supposed to get over 20 minutes of flight time with this battery, but it weighs so much on this little thing. Look, it's almost the size of the quad. I don't know if I could strap it on the back, but I'll try it. Battery strap is barely long enough. Oh, is it even gonna make it? Oh, oh it just makes it. All right, so this, <laughs> is that gonna come off? It might come off in flight, stay on there. All right, so the test is gonna be fly with this just to see if it can lift it. Let's try that. Okay, lithium ion on there. Oh my God. All right, sun's going out. We've got two gentlemen over on the beach walking, so I have to watch out for them. I've got the lithium ion battery on. I'm not gonna do long range because my goofball crossfire keeps on giving me error messages. I'm gonna fly around just to see how well it flies with that extra weight. Because I think that battery is like over 200 grams. It's a lot. So I don't know if this little 4S can to do anything with it, but we'll see. I'm not doing a 20 minute flight. This is just a slow flight to see how well it can lift the battery. And let's arm it. Let's go. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Oh my God, it lifts it like butter. Oh, oh, I don't even notice the battery there. That is craziness. That is the weirdest thing ever. It's so heavy, but yet it's flying with it. Can you do acro with it? Well, no, I'm not gonna do acro. No, nobody's gonna do acro with a lithium ion. There's not enough power output on a lithium ion. There's our two gentlemen over there. I'll just let them do their thing. I don't know where they're going. Beach ends over here. Come on back. So the idea of putting a lithium ion battery on a four inch quad is so you get a long flight time. Now what you give up to get a long flight time is power. So in other words, watch this. I'm loaded, I'm gonna come down low. Say there was an obstacle in front of me and I wanted to buzz up. It's very slow to go up. That's full power. I could barely get it up in the gr off the ground. Yeah, so that's that's the only disadvantage with lithium ion. You have to be flying Telemetry in a straight lost. line. Telemetry recovered. All right. So at least it can fly with it. That's the cool thing. Looking around my world. Right, and see how far the river extends and then diving down with a lithium ion which is super dangerous because you have no power to pull up <laughs> coming down i better start pulling up soon there we are we're also going in the drink yeah. works well all right this is just to tell you it works sorry i'm in canada i can't do any long range flying with this if i was in another country and we were allowed to do long range i could fly across the river but uh this one no okay i'm gonna do one more flight with a very very small battery and i'm gonna test out the gps to see if it falls out of the sky or the gps works we'll give it a shot slow down and come down for a landing See, when your camera faces up, it's hard to see where your little camera is on the ground. There we go. Close enough. I am still impressed that it could lift, take off with this battery. That's pretty cool. All right. So let's yank that off. Good sticky uh, battery grip they include with this too. The batteries just stick to the grip and uh, they stay there. You don't even need the strap. Well, I would definitely put the strap on for extra protection. All right, so I'm gonna stick a little 650 on now. I'm just gonna fly it a little ways over there and uh, I'm gonna hit the GPS return to home and just see what it does if it falls out of the sky, lands in the water, whatever. So GEPRC says they put the GPS up here so that it's not in the back like most drones where there's interference with your video signal and everything else. So up front, there should be no interference. And the whole idea, if you're new to FPV drones, the whole idea of getting an FPV drone with a GPS is because you want to fly long range. Because if you fly long range, two things, you can get an arrow on your screen that points back to home so you don't get lost. Second thing is what I'm about to do, say you get into some trouble and your video signal goes out and you can't see where you're going anymore. You hit the GPS rescue and it should fly back to your location. Some of them will land nearby, other ones will just fly back and you take over control. So we'll see what this one does. Does this camera pick me up? Look at laying down, I've got beach sand, soaking wet. I, 
the things I do for YouTube, I tell you. Oh my God. Okay, so I'll hit the GPS rescue someplace where there's nobody underneath in case it falls out of the sky, because they do fall down sometimes because they go into fail-safe mode. i got to find the G GPS rescue button. It's over on my right. I also have a buzzer on here. I don't know if you can hear it from here with this microphone. Buzzer active. Hear all that beeping? That's so if you lose it, you can find it. So that's built into the drone itself. Here we go. Um. Little 650. Very light and flickable. I'll just go over here, off to the right. So I'm gonna, it's either gonna crash over here into this grass or the GPS rescue is gonna work. Let's see, let's go like this. Okay, just go like that. GPS rescue now. Okay, so I'm not controlling it. It's doing its own thing. So it's flying, no hands. Look, Ma, no hands. It's on its own. I don't know if it's gonna come back to me. It's doing a lot of weird stuff over top of me. Watch it fall on my head. So it's just sitting there. I can see the water. Uh, I see the altitude is not, oh, altitude is going down. So on the top left of my display, I see the altitude. It's going down 46, 40, it's down to 30 meters. So it's coming down to land, but I don't know where it is. It's over my head. Hang on a sec, I gotta take over. <laughs> it was coming right down on my head. <gasps> oh my crap. Okay, so it was one of those GPS rescues that comes back and lands. It would have landed right on my head. So good thing I took over. The way I took over is I just took the GPS rescue off and then slammed the throttle forward. And there we go. So yeah, so it all works. All good. All right, coming back for landing. Close enough. Yeah, I'm a sucker for punishment. I'm laying down in the snow and the beach sand again. Now, next thing I wanna show you is what comes in the box if you buy this. I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna check out the video footage, review everything that I just did, and then give you my final thoughts, my positives and negatives about this quad. So first, watch what comes in the box, then back to me, here we go. This is the box the FPV drone comes in. Looking at the drone from all sides, you can see that it is extremely well constructed. We have a carbon fiber frame that is a dead cat design. I have a crossfire receiver in mind, so my crossfire antenna is up front and the receiver is hidden right behind the camera. You will need to install the props on the 3000 KV 1404 brushless motors. I have the very expensive DJI 03 camera in mind that includes the DJI 03 recording system as well as the DJI 03 long range antenna. The brains of the drone are the Tacker G4 45 amp flight controller. There is an M10 GPS that's placed on top of a 3D printed flexible mount. The base of the mount is protected by carbon fiber so that it can't be easily sheared off in a crash. The battery connector is your standard XT30 battery connector. Accessories include two sets of props, two battery straps, two sets of landing feet, two sticky battery grips, spare frame screws as well as propeller install screws, external action camera mount, a GEPRC keychain, DJI 03 air unit documentation, a quick start guide for beginners, a GPS rescue guide for beginners, information concerning the flight controller, GEPRC support documentation, GEPRC stickers, and finally the weight of the drone is 185 grams without a battery and if you add a four cell battery you're up to 242 grams. Still under 250 grams which is great. You're back to me and before I get into the negatives and positives, let me tell you the following. A lot of you probably wanna know the flight time. Well, I never flew this battery to the extent. This is the 3000 milliamp hour lithium ion battery. You're supposed to get 25 minutes. Do you get 25 minutes? I have no idea, but I would say if you flew in a straight line and didn't do anything crazy, you probably get close to 25 minutes. And with the 1100 milliamp hour LiPo battery, how much flight time do you get? I don't know, I tried it a few times. Each time I was doing crazy things, so I was draining the battery. You get over five minutes, but you get under 10 minutes. So it's somewhere between five and 10 minutes. And with the 650 milliamp hour LiPo battery, how much flight time do you get? If you're pretty relaxed on the throttle and not going crazy, you could probably push it too close to five minutes. And now I wanna quickly talk about receivers that are available for this drone. So the first one would be no receiver. I wanna use the DJI 03 system receiver and I wanna use my DJI FPV Remote 2. So if that's what you wanna do, 
make sure you get the PNP version, PNP plug and play. And if you own an ELRS radio, then you want to get the ELRS version and it comes in the 2.4 and the 915. So you have both versions, get the right one for your radio. And if you have a radio with a crossfire module like I have here, so that's what I was flying with, that is not broken, not like mine, which is broken, then you can get the crossfire receiver. Unfortunately, mine is busted and that's why you always get the telemetry lost, <laughs> telemetry recovered, whatever. I don't know if it's the antenna or what. I've updated this thing with firmware many times to see if it was the firmware issue, the receiver issues, but I've used different receivers. It does it with every single receiver. So it's this unit. So I bought myself another one. So in future videos, you'll see me flying with a different Crossfire module. And finally, one last thing before I get into the positives and negatives, and that is I want to talk about the cameras. So I have the most expensive camera, the DJI 03 system, which means I can fly it with my DJI goggles that work with the O3 system. But say you don't have the new goggles, you have old goggles, like version one of the DJI goggles, well, then you can get it in the WASP version. So WASP, W-A-S-P, WASP, and you can use your version one DJI FPV goggles. These are my very first set of goggles that I ever got, and uh, they would work with the WASP system. Or if you don't have a lot of money, but you want the same performance and long range, you can get it with an analog camera. But let me tell you, it's not your analog output power that you're used to. It's an analog camera with 1000 milliwatts of power. So one watt of power, I believe that is. So for analog, that's crazy. It means you can still get long range and save a lot of money because it's not very expensive if you get it in the analog version. All right, finally, we're at my negatives and positives. This will be quick. You ready? Here's the negatives. The negatives would be, it is extremely light. Now that's a positive, right? Well, I think that's a positive, but the negative is because it's so light, it means it's made out of material that may not do as well in a hard crash. I mean a hard crash hitting like pavement or cement or something like that. So something could break because of the light materials on here. Second thing, this GPS stack, that stack looks like something is gonna get busted. Now, if you look at the antenna on the rear, that sticks up and it is flexible. It bounces around for crashes and hitting things. This stack as well is flexible. You can bend it side to side. It's on 3D printed material. They do have carbon fiber at the base, so you can't shear it off if you hit something. It's not gonna come off. It could get damaged, it could get bent. It will probably survive and last. The GPS unit literally just plugs into a cable below. So if it did get torn off, it will disconnect the GPS. So that's good. You won't be pulling wires out everywhere else. The stack might be a negative in a crash. It's not a negative if you don't crash. It's only a negative if you crash. And I mean crash hard, so that's it. But what do I know? I never crash, right? I'm Captain Drone. <laughs> Anyways, let's get to the positive. Positive number one, this thing is well tuned. I mean, it flies so awesome. It flies so awesome that a beginner could fly this and have no difficulty because it's not going to do anything crazy in the air. It's very calm and relaxing. It's like a Sunday flyer. And by that, I mean, it gives you a very confident feeling. There is no holy crap, what's going on feeling, no matter if you're going slow or fast. It's a very confident feeling. Good flyer. For those who love FPV, it is extremely flickable because it's so light. So when you put a little 650 battery on it, you can flick this thing around the skies like you would not believe you would think it was made for acro but it's just a normal long range drone. Another positive is this GPS is extremely modern and it's extremely fast. When I put this down on the ground, plugged in the battery, by the time I got back to the location I was sitting down, it already had a ton of satellites. So it's ready to fly in no time. And it has a memory in it so that if you put another battery in, it remembered your first flight so that it just adds to those satellites that already exist. Speaking of the GPS, the GPS rescue does work as you saw in the video and it is the type that comes back to you and lands. You can change that in Betaflight Configurator if you wish, but eh, most people would leave it that it comes back and lands just in case you're lazy and you don't want to take over and just want to have it land. But it's extremely accurate, so it will come back very close to where it took off. There's a lot of GPS rescues out there that are designed to come back within 20 or 50 meters of where it took off. This thing here comes back to within like seven meters. So yeah, don't be standing where you took off. And finally, it has a nice finder beeper in it, which is good. If you lose it, you can flick it on. And also that beeper also comes on if the battery is low. I was flying a few times and when the battery was low, I could hear it beeping in the skies, which is nice. It's another audible warning, just in case you don't notice it in your goggles that your battery is getting low, that you might want to land. All right, guys, hope that made sense. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have questions on this drone, just post them below and I'll get back to you. But for now, I say thanks for watching this video and I'll catch you in a future video with many more reviews. Until then, I say bye. And look at, can you see this? Look at it. <laughs>
Someone's got to do laundry.